Well, watching the news again, all they want to do is talk about this kid's extensive criminal record. Yeah, they want to say he's tied into a rape now. He raped somebody. Now they want to say this and that and this and that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because if the man was scared for his life and decided to kill some police, then you think about it. What would make you fear for your life so bad you want to kill somebody? And I'm not going to go there no more. Because I'm tired of having to explain myself to people. No, I don't think people should go around killing these people, each other. And I don't think, you know, I don't think any of this shit should have went down. I think the whole thing could have been prevented. I think the whole thing could have been prevented. The whole entire incident could have been prevented. First of all, if there wasn't a history of disrespect between police and black folks, that element would have been gone. If it wasn't a uh, arrest and then uh, arrest and then find judgment, if that attitude wasn't there. You know, come on, man, as a minority, the police fuck with us every day, constantly. And 85% of the time, it's for nothing. I'm not going to say 90% of the time or 100% of the time. No, black while driving is definitely the truth. You know? So, you know, I'm tired of hearing about this boy's record, this man's record. He's 26 years old, and if he did all that in his short lifetime, if he dropped out of school, and if he did all, all the bad things this man, they saying this man did, it doesn't matter. The man is dead now. And he took four people with him. Do anybody understand what I mean by don't nobody deserve to die? Nobody understands that, so people want to call me stupid or say I'm an Uncle Tom or, or for me being a black person, I must never get in trouble with the law. Oh, I speak so white in my voice that I'm probably half white or something. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Let's all use basic common sense. If the police are sitting here or they get hired or their whole purpose of their job is to protect the people and it ain't working then what do you do you change the laws okay how stupid do a group of people gotta be when you hear somebody say get off your ass and go write a bill get up get up get out and do something other than going to find a pack of blunts or a tin sack you know what I'm saying don't bitch and complain about some person who can intellectually speak to other than black people. You know what I mean? The whole premise of what I do is to better all people. Everybody. And if the police are supposed to work for us, we have to put forth a reason we have to make them work for us. you have to make them want to protect the black community you have to make them want to do their jobs properly you have to make them see you as something other than a statistic or you just gonna be treated like a nigga an ignorant uh, ignorant so damn tired an ignorant individual with no sense of direction, an ignorant person who only one goal is to go smoke crack or, or blunts or something Look at the stereotype of a black man. And you tell me, walking down the street, how many young brothers do you see living up to that stereotype? I can't even go to dinner or lunch with some of my family members because the only two words they know is fucking nigga. Yeah, that motherfucking nigga, fucking nigga, nigga, nigga. I'm tired of hearing that shit. And then you wonder why you get treated like niggas in the street. Because a nigga is an ignorant individual that don't know shit. I'm tired of, quote me if you want to, black people acting like niggas. And when a white man calls somebody black a nigga, it's all kind of drama. You get, oh. You can't call me nigga. Black people shouldn't call themselves nigga anyway. That shit ain't funny. It ain't cool to allow yourself to be 
what you're supposed to be, what they tell you you gotta be. You got to be an ignorant nigga to live in this society. Is that what you believe? Let me ask you something about Jay-Z. Let me ask you about uh, Russell Simmons, Kanye West, Piss Diddy, I mean P. Diddy. Are they niggers or niggas? Huh? When they in their own, they don't walk around holding their balls talking about fuck this motherfucker, blunt that nigga, that black motherfucker. Come on, man. You got to grow up. I'm not a nigger, a nigga anymore. But when I'm around my people, that seems to be the only thing that, what's up, nigga? How you doing, nigga? What's up, nigga? What's up, man, nigga? Man, they did that nigga wrong, man. That nigga shot them. Man, fuck them cops, man. That nigga was right. I'm tired of hearing that shit. That's the dumbest shit a group of people can possibly begin to even say. It is pitiful. This is a sad day in America when black people would prefer to be what their masters tried to make them be. And then they embrace the shit. You have been called nigger, nigger, and nigglet so goddamn long you have become the word that our ancestors have dreaded for hundreds of years. Fuck the police. I handled it myself. Stupid niggas. Dumb niggas. You even got white kids saying, Nigga, nigga. You got white folks calling black people niggas now. And it's cool. We're all in a state of pitifulness. I ain't gonna be a part of that old dumbass shit. I'm too be I'm too smart to be called a nigga. I'm too intelligent to act like a nigga. I don't drink that much water, so the fluoride has not affected me like it is affecting those quote unquote niggas. Grow up. Get some self respect about yourself. Don't become a word. Don't live down to a word. That image of being a nigga is not all that pretty. Stupid ass niggas.